Hey everybody, welcome back. So this video is going to be about all the things that I've noticed that you don't expect to change when you become a parent. Like there's some things that are really obvious that happen when you have a baby, but there's some things that you don't realize really happen and change your life or they don't happen until your kids get a little bit older. So I'm going to go ahead and touch base on all of those and let's go ahead and get started. All right. So <laughs> first thing, um, I sympathize with moms and dads, like just parents in general of anybody who like has kids when you're out in public and their kids like start to get fussy. I get it. Like you cannot control children. You just can't. You teach them, but you can't control them essentially. So they're going to get fussy. It happens. And it never happens in an opportune place and it never happens in an opportune time. So, you know, when their kid is like freaking out and they have to try and calm them, whatever, like, I get it. And I'm just like, you got this, mama. You got this. Like they do in the Hunger Games thing. I understand. Like, it's going to be okay and it's not a problem. Like, it's a part of life and it happens. So, that's something that I noticed because I have seven nieces and nephews. I'm used to being around kids. I'm used to them having like their meltdowns and everything like that. But some people who have never been around kids or that are single or anything, they're kind of like, this is obnoxious. You need to control your kid. I'm just like, shh, shh, go sit down somewhere. Like, <laughs> so I get it. I sympathize with other parents. Um, another one is that I realize I have a connection with parents. Like, whenever I'm out in public and I have my babies with me, like, all three of them, or even just Devin, or even just the boys, and then I see another parent, it's, like, this instant, like, I understand you, like, kind of thing. And it's something that you'll never get until you become a parent yourself. So, that's an interesting thing that I never thought was going to happen, but it does. Um, another one is that I have never wanted to clean as much as I do now. I find that I'm always having to like pick something up in the house. Like, um, I don't like the clutter. I don't like the messiness. Like I can't handle dirty. Dirty is just like, uh, no, but, um, yeah. So I'm constantly like trying to keep up with everything and I realize, Hey, I'm never going to be able to, but I'm still, I have like the stronger urge now to like constantly be doing things. And most of the time, none of it ever really gets accomplished because they always will wake up and need to. <laughs> um, another thing is that there is no such thing as privacy. Like with Devin, she'll come like, I'll be in the bathroom. Like, let's say I have to go pee. Knock, knock, knock. Mom. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like can you not wait the two to like five minutes for me to have to pee? Like including me peeing and washing my hands and whatever else. No, you cannot. Or like when I would take a shower, when I'm home with them by myself, I'll just leave the door open. That way I can hear if anything happens. Then just walks right in and like starts to have a conversation with me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't really mind, but there is no such thing as privacy anymore. You do not get that luxury as you do before you have children. Um, let's see. What's another one? Oh, yeah. You ask your mom and all of your friends that are already parents or anybody that you know on, a, like, personally really well about everything. You're going to ask them, like, is this normal? Like, what is this advice? Like, oh, this is happening. What do you think? What did you do? And it will create a new dynamic in your relationship with whoever that person is. And, um... It just, I don't know, it kind of grows in a little bit, but you will never ask them anything like that until you become a parent and have that connection with them. Sorry, there was like a bird right outside the window and it's doing like this little weird flying thing like right behind where I'm recording. So I'm like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, another one, you will take like 10,000 pictures of your kids sleeping because every time that they fall asleep or anytime they do anything cute, it's like you've never seen it before and it's the cutest thing ever. So you take so many pictures. So I would suggest like getting a camera or making sure that you have like enough digital storage space to store all these pictures. 
because I have found that I take like 10 pictures of Devin when she was sleeping or even 10 pictures of them when they're sleeping because it's like the cutest thing ever and you can't help it. You become obsessed with taking pictures of your kid. <laughs> um, let's see. Another one you will, oh, let's move this over here. You will be thankful for any personal time that you get, whether it's being able to take a shower that's like 20 minutes long, whether it's shaving your legs, whether it's putting on makeup, blow drying your hair, styling your hair, anything like that, you will be so grateful and thankful and be like, I love you forever for the person that is like allowing you to get that time because everything that you do circles around them and their schedule and that's what you're devoted to. So when you do get that little bit of personal time to like make you feel better or to get something accomplished for yourself, you're like, oh, it's heaven sent. <laughs> um, another one, a being a mom will be, or a parent, if you're a man watching this or a guardian, whatever, you would be a parent figure to whatever child. It is, well, hey. Levi's sleeping and he's like waving his little arm up all in the air. I'm like, all right, sure. Wave to your angels, baby. <laughs> um, being a mom or a parent will be the hardest thing that you will ever have to do in your life. There is no manual. There is no guide. There is no, how do I accomplish this type thing? You literally figure it out as you go. And you and your children, child, baby, whatever stage you're at, y'all learn it together and each one of the kids like their personality is different and what you do with one you may not necessarily do with the other because they may handle it differently and it adjusts to their personality and it's not easy sometimes you have no idea what the hell to do <laughs> like yesterday actually last night for example um levi could not go to sleep Nothing that I did, which normally put him to sleep, he wouldn't go to sleep for. And I had no idea what to do. And that's when I was just like, okay, we're just going to figure this out together. And that's kind of thing that happens. Like, you just have to adjust, keep readjusting, and just keep going. And the only thing you can do is just try your best. And that's how it works. So, another thing, um, I guess that kind of ties into it a little bit. Is that you will never stop being a parent. I know that there's like this whole thing like, oh, well, once your kids turn 18, they're adults legally and like, I'm free. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, there are going to be all kinds of stages in life that your kids are going to need you to be there for. Like when they start off, they need you for everything. They need you to feed them, clothe them, burp them, change them, everything. And as they get older, yeah, they do get more independent but at the same time their needs change like when they get a little bit older they scrape their knee you're gonna have to kiss their boo-boos and make it feel better when they become teenagers they may need a like advice on the opposite sex or I don't know like he broke my heart how do I make it feel better things like that even beyond that like they may look to you to help them pick out what college they want to attend or what career field they want to go into it can be they think that they found the love of their life and they might want to talk to you about like, oh, I want to marry this person and about being engaged. Or when they have their own kids, they're going to come to you for advice because they're going to be a first time parent. Who else would you go to besides mom and dad? So you will never stop being their parent, no matter how old they get. They're always going to look to you for advice. They're always going to look to you for help. They're always going to need you in some kind of way. So that's something that you realize it's a lifelong journey from the moment that you decide to have a baby. Um, another one, nothing will ever make you as happy or capture your heart or make you love the way that your baby does. It is a whole unique and special kind of love that you will never experience until you have one. Like I you love a lot of people. You love your parents, you love your siblings, you love your cousins, you love your best friend, you love your partner, whomever. But it will never be the same kind of love that you have for your baby. Like, I 
would die in two seconds for any one of my kids. I would sacrifice and give up anything for them and their well-being to make them happy, make them smile. Whatever it is, like, there is a special kind of love that's unconditional and that you will never feel for anybody else that you feel for them. It's hard to explain, but once you become a parent, it's that instantaneous change of love. And it's the most amazing feeling ever. I love my babies. <laughs> um, another one. These, there's two of them that kind of like go hand in hand. This one is you will have an entourage of baby gear that wherever you go, it is coming with you. Like you have your baby bag, you have all the supplies that are in your baby bag, you have your stroller, your car seat, your pump, and the list goes on and on and it changes depending on where you go and how long you're going to be there. Like I never realized how much stuff moms have to bring with them whenever they go out with their child. Especially now since I have two of them as babies like with Devin. Excuse me. I would always have like the stroller in the trunk and I would always like have her diaper bag packed and everything. And some I guess sometimes as like first time parents you overpack for things. I'll have like six outfits in there with six pairs of socks and six different hats and two tubes of like diaper um cream and like I don't know 50 diapers whatever it's like okay you don't need to go overboard as you become more aware as a parent and as you I guess as you have more kids too you realize the things that you can cut out and the things that you need so you have your essentials and you'll always have those in your diaper bag like I personally always have it ready whenever we go out somewhere like let's say I use diapers or I use this or I use that as soon as I come home and I get them to like sleep, feed, whatever, till they're complacent, I will go straight to that diaper bag and I will restock and do everything that I need to. So literally all I have to do, pick it up and go. But yeah, you have a whole amount of gear that comes with you now. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna grab my purse. Oh, I'm gonna grab my wallet. Nope, you have car seats, strollers, like all of that. <laughs> so I never realized how much stuff came with having a baby and just what you needed to go anywhere like let's say I just needed to go right down the street to Target to go pick up I don't know a jar of mayo whatever I have to pack all this stuff and all this stuff has to come with me just to do that <laughs> and then what also kind of like ties into that is I have never had to prepare to leave the house as much in my life as I do now kind of like what I was saying I will have their stroller already in the car done their car seat bases everything already set up Devin's too her car seat done set up I will have my wallet and let's say like lip gloss or whatever I want to bring with me in their diaper bag I will make sure everything is fully stocked like all the stuff that I need and everything is ready to go that way I can get dressed I can get Devin dressed everybody has their shoes on have the boys dressed ready changed all of that so literally when I'm ready to leave all I have to do is put them in the car seats, put the cover on the car seats, and click them in and go. Because <laughs> it's a lot of preparation if you are not prepared or if you're not, like, ready for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Those are some of the things I've noticed that change when you become a parent. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I can make um, a continued or, like, a part two to this if y'all want or I can do other videos like this just go ahead and let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and if you like this um boss mom series or whatever you think about it but yeah I will be happy to see y'all next video bye